hard fought game. Um, I was pleased with our guys that we, we appreciate about getting off to a fast start. And um, I thought we played some pretty clean football early. Um, they had a couple of uh, blunders and, and kind of let those guys back in the game. But uh, I was pleased with how we dealt with adversity, a couple of rain delays and sat back in the locker room for an hour or so. But uh, guys came out and responded well. Um, but some stuff we had to clean up, I think a lot of it is coaching. I had to do a better job of putting these guys in position um, and helping them out. I loved that after. I thought we played really hard. Um, our tackling was horrendous, and we, we had to improve that. But a lot of times, uh, the first game, you know, you, you do have some issues with tackling. But we must improve with tackling and uh, special teams play. But um, for the most part, we we pleased with our team's play. And I thought up front on both sides of the ball, we dominated the line of scrimmage. And uh, they, they had way too many yards rushing, but a lot of that stuff was yards after contact. So it wasn't like they had a lot of, you know, gaping holes and things of that nature. But uh, it's always easier to get stuff correct after a win and, and uh, you know, just let the staff meeting and we'll get back to the drawing board and try to get some of the stuff corrected. Jamari Taylor being named the, um, you know, HBCU Player of the Week. Um, your thoughts on his performance um, and, and what uh, it meant for your team to have him doing so well in this very first game. Jamar has always been a consistent player and person since he's been in the program. And, uh, you know, even last year when he was back at Mookie, uh, we knew that he was really a 1A, 1B type player. So, uh, we had, you know, we have so much confidence in him. And, we you know, he's so electrifying and he's every down back. So, uh, you know, he, he's he's great in pass protection and, you know, always you know, catching touchdowns like receivers. But uh, not just that, he's elusive, you know, out of the backfield. So um, it's a blessing to have him on the team. And he's continues to get better and better. You, you mentioned the missed tackles. Is uh, is that just a game one type thing? Is How do you fix that throughout the course of, um, you know, a game week, especially with you having one less day to prepare for Elon than you, you usually would? Right. And, you know, we practice tackling, you know, daily, but uh, you don't do a whole lot of live tackling and taking them all the way to the ground. But we're going to have to try to do some of that this week and moving forward. We must improve our tackling. Elon has a great, great running game. Um, they have two really good running backs. So we have to do a better job of tackling this week, and I'm sure we will. But, uh, you know, the big the one thing that we have to do is give more halves to the football. I thought we did a good job of running to the ball, but we've got to get, you know, more halves to the ball. And uh, the things that I saw can be corrected. You know, you really have to put your chest on people and wrap up and not just just grab folks. So once I put my, my chest on them, I got to bring my hips and feet and take them to the ground. So um, we'll watch film and, and get stuff corrected. And and really, you know, implement some new drills this week to get it corrected for Elon Walker getting his you know first start as the guy, if you will. Um, just what were your overall thoughts on on what he did? The fast start, obviously, and then that that touchdown late in the game uh, to Jamari to to give you all that cushion. I thought Walker played a phenomenal game. You know, this is his first real start, I guess you could say. Uh, but but for us to come out, I think Walker started six of six. Uh, in the first quarter, uh, you know, we were rolling. Uh, had great momentum. Um, uh, we were clicking on offense. We kind of sputtered a little bit, I thought, in the third quarter. Um, but we needed another touchdown, another score to go up two, possess two possessions, uh, two scores. You know, he, uh, he made it happen. So uh, as far as decision-making, I thought he was on point with that. Um, execution, I thought he was on point with that. Uh, he had a couple of error throws. Uh, I don't know if it was because of the rain or mechanics, but uh, we did. he did have, uh, I want to say, one or two uh, error throws. But overall, I was very pleased with his performance. Um, I would like to see some uh, pre-snap uh, managerial type things with, with the offense improve um, as far as communication stuff with the, like that with, with the receivers. But uh, overall, I was very pleased, and I think it's something we can build on. Coach, can you just talk about the scouting Elon? What have you seen from them on film? Obviously, you talked about the two running backs. Anything else you've seen from them? Yeah, they're big up front. Uh, for the most part, the film that we broke down was from this offseason. Uh, we just got, just started watching them a little while ago after we put this last game to bed. Uh, so I haven't dove too much into them. Usually I'll give me a Sunday to, to watch them a little bit, and we come in here on Monday and chop it up. So uh, it's going to be a long night, a long day, long night for us to get a good grasp on what they're doing. But uh, overall, I'll say they're just physical. They're really, really physical. Um, 
uh, downhill backs that can, you know, that, that make you miss and 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 break tackles. So we got to we got to do a great job this week, like I said, of tackling and and come up with a scheme to slow these guys down. You basically spoke about how you guys had a lot of things to work on. And I wonder how much of that goes in part to you guys almost giving up a 21 nothing lead and maybe kind of um, teaching these guys to put their foot on the gas and know that the game's not over, even though you may have a substantial lead like that. How much will that be talked about? Well, I think when I say a lot of stuff to work on, most of that stuff was coaches. I think myself and my staff, we got a lot of stuff we have to work on. You know, when the, when the guys play as hard as they play, uh, we've got to help them out and put them in better positions. And and uh, the only the only real knock on our guys, I thought, was we kind of took the foot off the gas, you know, with them. Just because we want to run the ball doesn't mean that, you know, we're, we're, we're comfortable with going three and out. We still need to execute and get the chains moving. So I thought our guys, you know, took their foot off the gas a little bit and really didn't finish the game like I wanted them to. But the majority of the, the improvement this, oh, this week is probably going to come from the coaching staff. How pleased were you with with the energy that your team came out with, though, you know, to get that 21 nothing lead, to give you the cushion that you needed to uh, go ahead and finish it off? I'm, I'm pretty sure you were excited about the energy they came out to start the season. Man, I, I'm so happy for these guys and so so proud of them. We have a very young team. I think we only have three seniors on offense. So we are a very, very young team. And for us to bring our these soft, freshman, sophomores, and juniors down to Miami to play a very good Alabama State team, and for us to – you know, start the game like we did to show them, you know, show them that, look, we're as advertised. Uh, obviously, we let it get away from us a little bit. I think probably lost a little focus and and the weather delay might have had a little effect with that. But for these young guys to, to still let, stay locked in and to finish the game and, and be able to pull it out, good, bad, or ugly, whatever the case may be, I mean, I think that speaks volumes. So I'm, I'm very proud and happy for my team. You've talked a lot about the speed that you all have built, right? And I think it felt like it was displayed offense, defense, and special teams, right? With the, the performance on offense, sure, the pick six, the block punt. Um, how, how do you balance looking at a complete performance like that and saying, wow, okay, this is great with just the, like the issues that you've brought up, whether it be the missed tackles or just the mistakes or anything like that? How do you balance the good and the bad? Praise the good and correct the bad. You know, we have to talk about it all. But I think when, when you have speed on your team, that covers up a whole lot of stuff. That covers up a whole lot of stuff. Kamari House with a block punt, that's a true freshman. And he probably made the, you know, huge play in the game. DJ Estes had the game-winning uh, interception. Um, red shirt freshman. <laughs> so, you know, these young kids, you know, came, came to play and, and made some huge plays in the game. So, uh, you know, I think you have to, you know, pat them on the back and praise, you know, the good plays that we made. But obviously, guys, you know, we have so, so far to go. And we can be so much better. Uh, but the guys are locked in and they're in a good place. And and we have a good group of guys. They're coachable. Uh, they have a coach me coach attitude. And, uh, you know, they've been in the building all morning, excited, wanting to watch film on their day off. So, uh, you know, the, 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 we have a very, very bright future. And, and you know, we're not a one hit wonder, man. This thing right here, we're here to last.